everybody. Friendship Club, what a joy it is. We've known you, for some of you, for over 17 years. This is gonna, in this new year will be my 25th year in the club. And I've seen so many good things. And God's behind them all at every turn. You know, uh, if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be here. And uh, if it wasn't for the friends, we'd have no reason to be here either. So we want you to know, friends, that we love you. God loves you. Have a great Christmas and to love one another. So let us pray. Father God, we just thank you for the mercy of Jesus. We thank you for the babe in the manger who didn't cry but had eternal life in his eyes. Father, we thank you for all our friends, leaders, and caregivers and the families that we represent, for our ministry partners and our own families and neighbors. Help us to be a, a good church to reach out and share the love of God at every turn. Father, we love you, we thank you, we, we lay our lives before you. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Everybody said Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Love you guys. Good night.
days gone by. When we were, we were much younger and life was much simpler. We had innocence and took pleasure in the small things. We didn't have answers to life's questions at the click of a button. We knew what it meant to wait and not fret. Perhaps our roles were different and we, were exercised, we exercised faith and patience whether we liked it or not. Tonight I want to tell you a story. This story took place a long, long time ago. Will you join me in a little memory? A memory some have long forgotten. It was unfortunate, but some things in life were just that way. The little lamb was that, just a little lamb. He didn't know much of the outside world. He didn't see what the other lambs and animals saw. He wasn't able to go on adventures and search around the countryside. You see, this little lamb could hardly walk. His days were usually always the same. Don't get me wrong, he had friends. Friends like the quacky duck and her babies. I want to hear you at home too. I can hear you. And the old cow, <laughs> who always had her eye on her little lamb. There were a couple of horses and a mule. Even some chickens. And they were in the coop. Life was just that. It was all he ever knew. Our little lamb was praying one night. He had faith, our little lamb. He was always fed and kept warm near the other animals in the barn. He had a good owner who took care of his fold. This night was different. And it made all other nights pale in comparison to it. You see, as our little one prayed, as he did every night, the same prayer he always prayed was going to come true. He prayed to see something, something new he had never seen before. All the other lambs were out in the field that night, looking at the stars, twinkling and, shi twinkling and shining light. All, um, pardon me everyone. Our little lamb felt inside something was about to happen, and it did. That night the cow, and the horses, and the chickens, <laughs> you guys are pretty good at that. What a lovely bunch of chickens, okay. And the mule, and they were visited by a young couple. And I forgot the straw. <laughs> the, this couple were about to have a little baby. The animals heard a long, long time ago a story that unfolded right before their eyes. They knew that one day God would visit them on earth and the Most High God would come to them as a little baby. This baby would change the world and uh, his name is Jesus. There was a heavenly glow all around them. All around them like we can feel right now. It was warm and peaceful on that starry night. The two visitors were very happy and glowed with excitement. They named the child Jesus, Jesus our Savior. He didn't really cry, but his eyes were filled with love, eternal love like none had seen before. All of the other sheep were, were in the field. They too didn't know what would happen or unfold that night. They were getting ready for sleep, and their shepherd counted them and told them to rest. Then something happened. That night, that, there was something that happened that night that would change their lives forevermore. The heavens opened, and standing in their midst were angels, angels. And they stood there in their dazzling light, and they praised God, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace and good will on earth. They weren't so sure what was happening, but they had learned from the other little lamb that that very night our Savior Jesus was born, and they called it Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, everyone, and God bless you. Thank you.
we realize that he is holy to be worshipped for that is the end of man according to the Westminster Catechism to worship God and enjoy him forever Amen, Amen. Amen. Jesus um, Jesus ultimately is God or God the, third, the Son of God the third person of the Trinity and every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and that includes every man, woman, and child that has ever lived. There is no salvation except through Jesus. He said so himself. And he proved it by rising from the dead. So I implore you to discover him, his plan for your life now and forever. Do you know it will take an eternity to know Jesus forever? I mean, it will take an eternity to get to know Jesus fully. And that is his reward, that he is always here for us, and that we can know him more. As for John Nash, he overcame his illness only by the grace of God. John succeeded in his quest for meaning, and finding the answer for the equation of love. And for us here tonight, God is love. And all that he does is motivated by love, for each and every one of you. As a personal testimony of God's love, here I stand. I am one with John Nash, as far as it goes, for me, someone who was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia at the age of 17, who has been psychiatrically confined for months and months at a time, up to nine times in my life. I stand here with you as one under the veil of Christ's love and as a leader of a ministry for very special God's, God's very special people, whom he loves immensely. May God be lifted up in our hearts today, in your heart, and I would encourage you to find peace with God. It all started for me when I confessed my sins to God and asked Him to forgive me and come into my life. Let us pray. O God, our God, how marvelous are your ways, but to do justly and to love mercy and walk humbly with our God. Father, your word is spilled out onto the pages of Scripture, the love and the crimson blood of your son Jesus who died for us. We know that in uh, this time of life there are many scoffers and many those who oppose us, but you are for us and not against us. And even those who oppose you, you love and you want to provide a way to yourself. So use us and bless us, Father, as a club to unite, to rejoice, to celebrate Christmas with loved ones by sharing the love of Jesus. May the blessings of the Lord be upon us now, forevermore. Amen. is love.